Hi everybody, my name is Amy and I'm here with my 18 week old German Shepherd puppy, Havoc. Today, Havoc and I are going to be showing you how to teach your dog the command bang or play dead. Um, Havoc does not know this trick, however he does know what the clicker means. I'm going to be using the clicker to help him understand that what he did in that moment when he, when he heard the click is what got him the treat. So he understands that when he does what I want, he's going to hear a click, which is always followed by a treat. Now, if you don't have a clicker, you can use the word yes or okay um, to mark the behavior of what you like, what you want. So with this one, we're going to be using a reverse chaining. Um, and it's going to be where I'm going to start with the final product, which is him laying on the floor on his side. And that's when I'm going to give him that click and treat. Then we're going to move back from that to where he's eventually standing. I tell him the word, you know, bang, and he plays dead on the ground. So he loves treats. All I have is a clicker and I have his dog food. So I'm not actually using treats, I'm just using kibble. And with this, you're never going to correct your dog. You're never going to tell them no or that they've done something wrong. Because in tricks training, it's supposed to be fun. So there's no reason to give a correction. You're only going to reward the behavior that you do like. So as you can see, he really wants this food. He's hungry, he's motivated, he's ready to work. So we're going to start with the final product. I'm going to use the treat to move him around. I don't want to be grabbing him by the collar. I don't even have a leash on him. I'm going to coax him down. Take the food and kind of roll him onto his side. Have him wait, click tree. Good. So that is the position that he's being rewarded in, is when he's down on his side. Again, I'm going to roll him on his side. He wants to get up. He's probably going to try to roll over, but I don't want that. Again, just be patient with him. Good boy. As soon as he holds still for a split second, I'll click and treat. <laughs> He's very comfortable on his back. If your dog is not comfortable laying on his side, you know, then you need to practice in it when he's calm, just having him lay there and petting him. If, if your dog isn't comfortable in this final position, you're not going to get him to do the bang. So again, I'm just going to coax him into that position. I'm using the treat to kind of guide him. Let him know that the treat is in your hand. I want to keep him to doing it on the one side. So I'm not going to accept it unless he rolled onto the, to the one side. Right there. Good boy. Now you see he's staying there. He's starting to figure out that that's the reward position. So I'm just going to continue to click a treat. He's got to put his head down though. I want his head down. At this point, I'll take either side because he's comfortable both ways. So he's figuring out that that's the reward position, okay? That's the final result. That's him dead on the floor. Right? So he's starting standing, coaxing him down, flipping him to his side, sort of. He really wants to stay flat. You know, if your dog is moving around too much, just start over. There's no, no harm, no foul. You're just starting fresh with it. Yes, good boy. Again, he figured out this is the position getting him rewarded. If your dog lifts his head up, just put your hand on the floor right there and click and treat. Good boy. Says whatever you were just doing, you're released from doing it. So that's what I'm going to use to get him back up. I want his head on the ground and I want him to hold still, just like that. Okay, so for him, this is taking a couple repetitions, but he's starting to catch on. And I, I'm not giving him any verbal command, I'm not telling him bang or anything yet. You don't have to pair a verbal with it until your dog is doing it as a fluid motion. And you only work on one new trick at a time. There's no reason to do two or three tricks because your dog is going, you know, as soon as you get the clicker out of the treats, he's going to try to practice whatever, you know, trick he was just being rewarded for. So definitely don't switch it up until your dog has learned that trick from start to finish.
on his head on the ground. I'm going to be picky about it. If you reward your dog for having his head up, then the command is going to be play dead means to lay on the floor with his head up. I want the head on the ground. So that's that final result, result that I'm going to reward, nothing else. Don't let your dog paw you, or that'll turn into a game. There, he's keeping his head on the ground. So now I'm going to start to add the before to it, to where your dog is standing. And I'm going to make it fast. I'm not going to slowly, you know, guide him down because I want it to be something that he does quickly. You know, bang is you go from standing, then boom, drop on the floor. Good boy. I want the head on the ground. Good. Anytime you click, you have to follow it with a treat, even if it's an accident. Good. Now I'm going to lean myself out of this equation. I want to stand up a little bit. So starting standing on the floor and flip to the side. Good. Again, I'm not giving any verbal command to this. It's just practicing that, that motion. Freak. Oh, is that good? Oh, and I'm not even saying that much to him. I'm not giving him a ton of praise. The click and the treat is the praise. Does he look like he's lacking motivation? No, he's loving it. So there's no reason to be doing a lot of extra talking. It's just going to frustrate your dog. You know, and let him think through it. There will come a point where you're going to have to let him think through it and figure it out. That's a good boy. If your dog looks like he's getting bored, move around a little bit. You know, get him interested in the food again. Oh, that's a, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. So standing, I'm going to put the food down. Just like that. See how quick that motion was for him? And again, he has never learned this before. Good boy. Good boy. The way that you say something is going to be reflected in your dog's actions. So I want him to be doing this trick quickly. So I'm not going to slowly move to the ground because that's what then he's going to be a slow dog to die. I want it to be fast. Oh, is a good boy? That's a good boy. Head on the ground, reward. Head on the ground. I'm going to let him think through this one. Yes, good boy. And for thinking, I'm going to give him a couple treats. You can only help your dog so much before you just let, need to let them figure it out themselves. If you're always helping your dog, they're going to become dependent on it. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Let him think it through again. Yes. Good. Now, I, now that he is starting to do it as a fluid motion, I'm going to add the verbal cue to it in just a minute here. If you see that your dog is freely just dropping to the ground, throw in that verbal cue. You're going to put the new command, which is bang or play dead, before the old cue, which is putting your hand on the ground. Right, Havoc? Right? Right? Right here. Oh, that's a good boy. Okay, so my hand up, down on the ground. So I didn't reward him that time. I want him to be thinking. He didn't put his head on the ground. I'm not going to wait all day for him to figure it out. If he doesn't put his head on the ground, whatever. Then I'll tell him free. He gets no treat. I guarantee that the next time we do this, he's going to throw his head down because he's going to realize that's why he didn't get rewarded. And if he doesn't, I'll free him again. And then I might take a step back and remind him that in order to be treated, to get the click and treat, you have to put your head on the ground. Oh, is that good boy? Yes! See, he put his head down. Give your dog the benefit of the doubt. Don't help him too much. They're smarter than you think. He still has his head on the ground. The timing is 
everything. As soon as he put his head down, I gave him a click and treat. Did I? Yes! That's letting him know in that moment. That's when he's getting the reward. Good boy. All right, I'm going to throw in the verbal cue. Might be a second too early, but I don't want this video to take too long. Okay, so now I'm going to tell him, bang. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Come here. Okay, so I told him, I said, bang. Head on the ground. Good. Because I'm putting in that verbal cue, I want to get to the final product, okay? So that's why I was willing to give him an extra little hint, because I'm throwing in something new. You know, if you throw in something new, take a little step back somewhere. Good. Bang. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So when I say the bang, I'm even tossing him to the ground. That's just letting him know, like, I want, I want you to move quickly. If I wait for him to think it through, then he's going to be slow about it. So as soon as I say bang, I'm pushing his shoulder and he's dropping to the ground. It's not hurting him. It's not being mean. I'm just pushing his shoulder and giving him that cue, like, hey, drop to the ground. It's all fast. That's the, that's the key here. It has to be fast. Now, if your dog decides to howl or be dramatic, praise them. That's what you want. You, I have a client that has a husky, and when she tells him bang, he howls and rolls around and then flops. And that's perfect. That is an awesome play dead command. So don't correct your dog for it. The more dramatic, the better. I mean, if he ever decides to throw in a howl, I'm going to praise him and tell him, good boy, and then he'll probably do it again. Good oh boy. Bang. Yes. <laughs> yes. For now, I'm just going to say the verbal bang. Ready? I don't want him to, you know, to just sit there and not move around because this is supposed to be more of a fluid motion. So I'm going to start it. Bang! Yes, good boy. Focus on you. 
Right, Havoc? Right? Yeah! And again, only do that one trick when you're working on it. You don't want to work on two or three different things because then your dog is going to stare at you not knowing which one is going to get him rewarded. Oh, he's dead! He's a dead dog! That's a quick way. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Did you find a food? Did you find a food? Have it stop. Good boy. Feel free to leave a comment um, below and I will answer your questions. If, you, if there's another trick that you'd like to learn so far, I've put out the videos for how to teach your dog to wave. Stop. How to teach your dog to roll over and now how to teach your dog to play good. So please feel free to ask questions. Again, my name is Amy Blunt, and I am the um, owner and head trainer of Valor Canine Academy. We're in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and the website is ChattanoogaDogTraining.com, so feel free to look us up. We specialize in obedience training, behavior modification, and personal protection dog training. Thank you very much, and have a great day.